The American Civil War is the first conflict in human history where the entirety of a nation's industrial potential is brought against an adversary. In many ways, it's the first modern war. It was a conflict that involved mechanized and electronic devices, ranging from the railroad to the telegraph, and these devices allowed for the creation of armies numbering in the hundreds of thousands, and also allowing for their command and control. This conflict and the technologies brought with it would unleash something that would change warfare forever and unleash a new kind of carnage never before seen in war. The American Civil War has a rich and deep history. It almost begs for video games to be made about it. When thinking about Civil War video games, two games come to mind. The Blue and the Gray and Civil War Generals. Both games were released in the mid-90s. The games were rather fun turn-based strategy games with hex-based battle maps. What I always enjoyed about both games was the amount of thought you could put into winning battles. How you had to line up your units in the right hex formation so you could maximize their effectiveness against an enemy unit. And making an enemy unit break was oh so satisfying. However, in recent years the games have become increasingly more difficult to run on advanced PCs without the use of DOSBox. I unfortunately lack the patience and free time to set that up, so I haven't played either of the games in a number of years as a result. Both are very strong titles, and if you have interest in American Civil War games, I suggest you check them out. While looking for a more recent Civil War game, two titles come to mind. Battle Plan, American Civil War, and Ultimate General Gettysburg. Both share a similar playstyle, with subtle differences. The subtle differences in gameplay are making for a completely different method of play in the games. The games do have different graphics. Where Ultimate Generals has a more polished look, means it's on the Unity engine, while the units in Battle Plan have a more isometric look, which leaves a little more to the imagination. While both games play with a simple click and drag mechanic, the subtle difference is that in Battle Plan, you can only issue one order at a time, and a unit cannot be given a new order until its current order has been finished. Also, any new orders have to be sent from the general unit, which can take time because they're being sent via horseback. This subtle approach to issuing orders has a drastic impact on the way you have to play the game. Where in Battle Plan, you in some regards have to plan the entire assault ahead of time, trying to take into account what your enemy is going to do. So it does leave a little more of an interesting element to the game, and also kind of leaves a slight kind of feel of realism to how you have to issue your commands. Ultimate Generals plays with the same movement concept, but all the orders play like a real-time strategy game allowing you to change your commands on the fly, with no delay. Battle Plan also has a focus on resupplying your army, which makes for a tactical challenge in protecting your supply wagons. For example, your artillery in, in Battle Plan can run out of ammo, so you have to resupply them with a wagon, and in certain situations your wagon can be destroyed by the enemy overrunning certain units. Where in Ultimate, generally you don't necessarily have the issue of running out of ammo for your cannons. It's the subtle differences in gameplay that change how both games work. Where Battle Plan requires you to do considerable forward planning if you have lofty goals, Ultimate Generals is more forgiving and allows you to be more casual about reaching those goals. Despite both games being oddly similar, they both essentially play entirely different, and given the order mechanics in one versus the other, you have entirely different types of gameplay, which makes both pretty unique in their own right. Both games are available on Steam. Battle Plan American Civil War is on sale for around $9 where Ultimate General Gettysburg goes for around 15 And Gettysburg overall, I think, merits the higher price tag, just given its higher level of polish and overall more interesting details. Where, essentially, American Battle Plan is just kind of a fun game that has a different mechanic to it. But either way, both games are worth checking out, if you're into Civil War stuff. Interesting tidbit about the American Civil War. Towards the end, Calvary was rendered entirely useless. The Union forces began to implement carbine repeat fire rifles, which essentially what they would do is as soon as they get to a position because of their superior speed, dismount and then use their weapons from dug in positions. And that literally made them more effective than almost a thousand men with just a small cavalry unit. So essentially, in this game, I'm terrible because I can't utilize cavalry to their full extent. So I think I might have actually just lost a civil war. <laughs> Yep, I lost the Civil War.